What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and if you haven't noticed by that winking monkey, we are back here on the Torque Drift. It is here, full game release, and we are going to be bringing it back to the channel. So, we did play this a little bit um, for the beta, and now we are here on full release. You guys seem to like the Torque Drift videos when I brought them out when it was a beta, so now we're here full release. We got some sponsorship rewards to collect. And um, we are going to get into a little bit of fun today. So we got two tracks. We have Cali Banks and Ocean Drive. We have Western Pinch and that. So a few things that I have noticed, well, a few things that are different from beta to game release. Yeah, there is a slew of sponsors now. There is so many sponsors up here. There's so many different other sponsor, you know, opportunities in this there's some missing i believe but there is plenty of sponsors in this game so we are going to get into the game and have a little fun the physics i felt have uh we are on high quality we're not on ultra just because of the recording aspect so the game physics i feel have definitely changed so we just for sake of that we'll head to the slab real quick the, the physics of the game feel a lot different. They feel uh, they feel a lot better. Um, the controls are a little bit more seamless right now, and it just it just feels more polished than when it was made. Obviously, now well, the game's polished. When driving, you know, not so polished right now. So, like I said, I'm super excited to be back on Torque Drift on the full release. So we are going to get into some battles and the biggest thing that I have noticed and that is going to be an amazing thing is I will be doing some uh, basically live sessions. I quit that because of my drifting was just horrible. I will be doing some live sessions here on the channel and uh, allowing people to get the chance to drive with me because of this. The join and the private. So, if you haven't entered code, you can enter it, but what I will be doing is doing a live session, and live on the channel, I will hit private, and whoever the first person is to enter that code will get the chance to compete with me and go against me in uh, Torque Drift here on the channel. So, it'll definitely be uh, fun to do it that way, get some, uh, to get some of you guys involved. So, we are at Cali Banks, which is my nemesis track. You guys followed the channel for a while. So, it looks like we're going to get up against a... Uh, Another rookie three, but he's running some uh, stickier tires. But we're gonna see if we can't get a good run here. So, like I said before, the grip level of the cars is a little bit different. The physics feel it feels a lot more polished. It feels a lot better, and it feels more realistic. Except for when we do that, you do get penalties now. If you come to, if you straighten up as a lead driver, you will get lots of penalties. The wall taps. You actually have to basically tap that very gently, otherwise you will uh, lose all your points. So as you can see, this is a very mildly tuned S14, but it has the power to uh, keep itself in drift and all that just from basically a stock car. Because before, when you had a stock car, you really had a hard time keeping it in drift. So it looks like we do have an advantage on this man right now. So we're gonna try and get a good tandem. So like I said, game feels so much more polished now that it is being released. I know they said they will be uh, releasing more cars and more stuff like that as updates come through. Instead of running a lower line, I'm going to try and uh, that's that. You do still get the close calls when you're in follow, so that's definitely good. Ooh, I don't want to hit him. That was really close. This is probably one of the best tandem runs I can get with the line this man's running. So there is still those times when I smack them. When uh, people run some very interesting uh, lead runs and it causes you to lose, but it's just the name of the game that way. So if you got a lot of good friends and a lot of people that you know run good smooth, smooth lines, then you can use a lot of private events and have a lot of fun doing the private events. But I also think now that one of the coolest uh, things that was, it was supposed to be in the beta but it wasn't really in the beta is this. You can actually look at your opponent's chase run when he's chasing you, and you can actually see what he did on his chase versus your one, which was not something that uh, 
was in the game before because you couldn't actually uh, see it. So you can actually watch your opponent's chase them. So if you lose by a lot, you can watch the chase run and see what he did and see you know how he got those points from this man. Oh man, he died. I'm sorry, dude. And then he probably just cut all the way through just to finish his run so that he didn't DQ himself. So that's definitely a cool feature to be able to see the chase run now and be able to watch what your opponent does. Um, I know that was a big thing for me when I was on a chase. And I'm like, how did he chase me? Like, how did he get so many points in the chase? And now you can actually go back and take a look at it and see it. So that's definitely a very awesome thing that is now in the game. So we're going to try and do another one here at Cali Banks. And um, we're going to... Uh, ooh, oh, all right. White guy T Y. All right, this guy's got a little more power than my car, um, so we're definitely gonna have to make sure we have a good, solid lead run. I am running some buttons just because it's easier for when I'm recording to run button. I know a lot of people run tilt, uh, tilt steering. I mean, I'll we'll tap it. It was the point C right there. It was a quick loss of drift, loss of points because I lost drift there too. So. Not our best lead run on the bank. It looked like it was going to be good, but then uh, we happened to uh, screw up a little bit. Now, if you've noticed, the game is more seamless and not getting that frame rate glitch lag like I was in um, beta here at Cali Bank. So it makes Cali Bank a lot more fun to drive. I don't get that frame rate glitch. He's taking a while to finish up. He must have crashed. Yeah, he must have definitely crashed. So now we're going to have a good chase run. We'll probably watch his chase run as well because, you know, it's kind of cool to see the other players' chase runs now because they have it um, actually able to do that. So it is cool to see that. Ooh, boy. Uh, okay. So they do still have where you don't, ex you know, you don't explode when they go through you. But uh, in the replay, I will explode and we'll go my bumper and stuff like that. But, so that's one thing I know a lot of people are saying that they're losing because of a horrible lead run and they couldn't get points on the chase so, and then they've run a solid lead run and it's a very chaseable run for the other player so they were able to beat you in the chase now that's just going to be in any game that has these types of that when it's not a uh, one to one battle I guess you could say you can't see him chasing you until after the fact so he got 16,000 points on my chase, or on his chase, so I kind of want to watch the, his opponents, his chase, and see how he did on my run. So it is definitely, like I said, it's a cool thing to have this now. It's one thing I was super excited when I found out about it. He had a bit of a hard time initiating it, and a hard time staying in drift. But he kind of got on my door there, but uh, he had a little bit of problem staying in drift. So we will take that win. So we're two for two today in the full release, which is good. We've been having a lot more fun on the game with it being full release, with it being smoother, more seamless. We'll see if we can't get into the pro ranking. We've got to win for one more match. So we're going to head to the other track that we got, which is Western Pinch. And uh, we're going to rip Western Pinch and see if we can't get that pro status level. So I did notice there's not a lot of bot battles anymore, unless I'm just not noticing it. It looks like it's constant players. I know a lot of people got this game when it came out, and uh, definitely excited to have it back on the channel. He's definitely outpowering me with this car. But it's not all about the power, it's about the lines. As long as you can throw down a good lead, we'll be able to probably have a good chase as well. A little clutch tap when I shift, I found it. I don't know if it helps, but Kind of makes me feel a little bit better. So the cars are a lot skatier in this one I've noticed. Like the cars do slide a lot more and that's probably a testament to the grip level of tires. Because I haven't changed to another grip of tire, but these tires, when you start sliding, you start sliding and if you don't slow down you will smack yourself into a wall. Which I've done many a time. He's probably gonna outdo my lead. Uh, that was pretty it's pretty even uh lead the chase or lead the lead run so now we gotta make sure we slam down a good chase run and if he does beat us on the chase we will definitely uh be watching his chase run to see what he did to beat us in the chase now well he's definitely gonna beat us now because he completely uh misjudged his line and uh went clear into the barriers 
don't think I'll be able to uh, catch up enough to get enough points to have a chance to take this one. Well, it's the name of the game, unfortunately, drifting. Things happen. You probably beat the game, you probably had a way better chance than I did. And I don't think I had enough to beat that. Yeah, we just barely lost. So, well. Looks like we're going to have to have another run to try and get our uh, pro level status here. So we'll do another run here and then uh, probably go head back to Cali Bank. So they are rotating the races in more. Um, from what I know, they're going to be bringing out more cars. They're going to be bringing out more uh, tracks, hopefully. Different variations and such. So definitely excited to see how this game progresses now that it's overly, everybody can have it about the open lobby now that we can do basically and uh, we can uh, actually go real time competing against some of you guys um, on the channel when I can do a live Twitch stream on the channel and get a bunch of you guys in and uh, get a chance to uh, go door to door here on Torchraft with you guys in real time essentially now instead of just you know that potential of getting a chance to do it. So this S14 is a lot of fun. I mean, I'm having fun with the low powered car. Let's see what Adam does. Adam is rocking the 18. So we got a little bit of a cushion. So hopefully we don't. I'm going to try not to uh, smack myself into that barrier again. Because I tend to try and get too close to these guys in the beginning. And I just tend to you know, like smack right into that barrier. So I'm going to move myself back. So he's going a little wider. Give me a chance. Nice sweet transition with him. Are we going to S it back? Oh, he ran a short line. Okay. All right. Well, then I definitely need to cut the end of the chase to get proximity and get more points. Having to cut the track a little bit and cut, you know, cut some angle down to catch up to him because he ran that line a lot shorter than I thought he was going to. But we can take that win. sit at when it comes to getting pro level or not we'll probably hit a note we got our pro level right there pro one we don't want to lose the pro one but we're going to probably take one more cali banks run and uh end that episode off you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of you found in the description box below if you guys have torque drift a full one let me know what you guys are enjoying about it if you didn't get a chance to play it in the beta you know oh uh all right e30 decked out should be definitely an interesting battle. So let me know what you guys think for those who did not have it in the beta and now have it in full release. If you can't get it in the App Store, it's probably because your phone is either not a approved phone for the game because I guess there's a list of phones that are uh, that can't get the game because it has to be a certain uh, degree of phone. So I'm not sure if a lot of the other phones can't get it. So you can't see it on the App Store or in the marketplace probably because your phone is not in the uh, approved phone for the game. Now I'm not sure, I'll, I'll see if I can see if there's like a list of phones that are approved or where you can find out if your phone is good enough. Because um, I'm sure, I think from what I heard, your phone has to be of a certain type or year in order to get the game. So we do have a good cushion here. So let's see if we can get a good chase run on this E30 to end this episode off. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torchic here on the channel, let me know down in the comments down below. You guys can definitely like when the beta was out, so now that the game is out in full, there's a chance for you guys to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against me. You guys can keep wanting to see Torchic on the channel, because I know because everybody has it, and it's a lot easier to game, not everybody has to do the, you know, get in tandem battles and forward up, but being Torchic is a mobile game, and it's... It's not easy, but it's a lot easier to pick up and play than it is say Forza. So I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to uh, grab doors here on the channel, and I will be doing some live sessions with it. So we're going to take that win. No, we lost. He had a 42,000 point run. All right. So yeah, we definitely got to watch his, his chase because uh, dang, 42,000. He's right on my phone. He must have been running. Oh, that's why. Maybe not. How did he? Alright. So, this is what I don't understand. Oh, so he was probably running really 
close to me, right there, right on my door, getting a lot of the close call points. So he definitely had a really good chase. And, uh, yeah, he was able to take me out. So he took me out, not by much though, he took me out by, uh, So, if you guys want to keep seeing Torque, you know, in the comments section, we probably lost our pro status. Right down, let me see it. There we go. So, until next time, guys, thank you guys for coming back and enjoying Torque Clips as much as I am. So, next time, I will catch you guys, and uh, maybe it'll be a live session. So, until next time, I'm Evil Rabbit.